Hi everyone. Um, I'm not going to be on for long or to spread gloom, gloom and doom on Christmas Eve. But there's something important that I wanted to say. Last Tuesday, 12 of um, animal activists um, broke into a research facility in Cambridgeshire and took, I think it was 18 beagles that were there for research. Yeah, 12 of our activists got in and took 18 beagles that had been used for research. Research on animals has proven to be non-predictive for human illnesses. And I could give you a whole spiel of why that is so. Document upon document upon document. And they say, don't they, that the uh, it's a form of insanity to keep on doing the same thing over and over and over again and anticipating different results because you're not going to get them. Did you know that the vaccine for polio, for example, was left on the shelves for years because it was felt to be harmful to humans because it killed rats? Proved not to be harmful to humans in the finish. Did you know that the United States alone uses over 110 million animals every single year for research purposes. Universities everywhere, US, UK, wherever, they receive massive, massive grants from the government for carrying out the same old BS year after year. Have you ever seen beagles who've been liberated? Because I have. They have the numbers. They don't have names. They have numbers inside of their ears. Tattooed. Despite what the research facilities might tell you about them receiving humane treatment. They do not. Monkeys, monkeys, who there's that difference between the monkeys and our own DNA, but that hint of a different difference is enough to show that research is not predictive for human beings. It's ridiculous. And there are so many models now that can be used. Animals should never be used for research. Never. We know what smoking causes. Do you know what they do to beagles? Have you ever seen what they do to beagles? Maybe you should research it. They strap them up. They strap them in a line. And the beagles are forced to chain smoke. As one cigarette goes out, another cigarette goes in. That's what these animals are subjected to. Beagles are chosen because they're the most docile of dogs. They are bred for this research and it's disgusting. On Tuesday, last Tuesday, 11, 12 of our activists got in to a research centre in Cambridgeshire and took 18 beagles. The police were called just before six o'clock on Tuesday morning. 
So 12 of our activists got in, removed 18 beagles. Cambridgeshire Police have retrieved two of those beagles. The campaigners named them Love and Liberty. Love and Liberty. They've been taken back to MBR Acres, the research facility in Cambridgeshire. I'll read a little bit. The move has prompted an outcry from celebrities and campaigners who call it horrifying. Um, Ricky Gervais said, Love and Libby represent the hope of all the Beagles, bred purely for lab experiments at MBR Acres. The hope is that with a degree of compassion, they may be allowed a life free of pain and death. We ask them to show humility and mercy. Give these two dogs back set them free to be homed with a loving family as the other dogs are being. Singer Will Young said he was shocked and disgusted by MBR Acres decision to demand the Beagles back. Love and Libby, the two Beagles concerned, will most likely be put down due to outside contamination or put down after being taken back in to be tortured through testing. Dr Alice Brough, a qualified vet with the Animal Rebellion protest group and director of the Progressive Veterinary Association, also accused the Home Office of seeing nothing wrong with needlessly torturing animals by the thousands, well, it's by the hundreds of thousands, in fact. The fact that the dog, this is according to the uh, Dr. Alice Brough, the fact that the, do the police are citing the dog's well-being as a reason to return them to a facility is in breach of welfare regulations and knowing the unimaginable pain and suffering they will face in a laboratory is frankly horrifying. This research facility have said this unlawful extreme action has placed stress on animals and staff by disrupting our daily activity. Well, all I can say is F you. It is cruel. It is unnecessary. It is unpredictive. And it's about time this animal research ended it's about time it's beyond time that it ended and you people who are torturing the animals if you have any belief any belief whatsoever trust that there will be there will be retribution for the horrific nature of the crimes that you commit and hopefully you won't get the other 16 vehicles back, arseholes.